Hey, what's going on YouTube? Chop Celery here, and welcome to my build crafting video. Um, I figured because, you know, we are going to do the KOTOR playthrough, obviously I wanted to go and play it just to make sure I'm reacclimating myself to the game and uh, just to make sure I could do a more thorough walkthrough. Um, this is the build that I completed the game just recently with, and uh, I kind of wanted to review it because I'd like to, you know, build a little bit upon it and make some changes in my playthrough with you. So let's start off, I guess, with the character screen. Yeah, I mean, I was happy overall with this, but I'll tell you what, let's go look at my equipment real quick, though. Um, I don't have an implant. I don't have any of the feats for it, and I'm not a scout. Scouts get that um, implant levels just uh, as the you level up as a scout I think you get it like level 8 or something like that you can have the highest implants or you can buy them for feats uh, I chose the verpine um, headband because it does give me a higher will save and more awareness I wanted a higher will save um, just so that way I wasn't as easily controlled by force abilities I can make a higher roll or like to defend against it uh, dominator gauntlets I have them that's plus 5 Jesus uh, forgot it was that high. Uh, I just use that because strength will increase our damage in addition to our attack bonus, both of which are good for melee combat. Uh, I did go dark side, so I chose Darth Revan's robes. Um, I got these on the Star Forge, but up until that point, I had been wearing either... Um, I was wearing a Jedi Master robe, or I was wearing the Light Exoskeleton. The Light Exoskeleton was good just because it gave me more strength. Uh, and a decent amount of defense, um, despite, you know, I could wear it, but it doesn't uh, restrict force powers, so that's why I ultimately wasn't wearing it too much. But if you just want to, you know, put on some heavy armor and <laughs> go to town melee-wise, that was a great, great choice for me. Uh, as you saw, 32 defense, not bad. But uh, my belt is the CNS Strength Enhancer, so that is plus two to your strength, and then plus two to all your saves. I really value this belt, just not only for the bonus to strength, but also the saves. I think that's great. And then for my lightsaber, I am using the Upari, U-P-A-R-I, Upari, 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 don't know how to pronounce it, crystal. That's great. And then I believe I'm also using um, oh, a Sapith crystal. I got either that or the crate dragon pearl those are usually the three that i would rotate between so i believe it's a sapith crystal the upari crystal and then i have the heart of the guardian so my lightsaber is actually orange um i got this from uh the yavin station which was some dlc um and i believe this specific color crystal in addition to I think it's Heart of the Guardian and Mantle of the Force, I think, is the other one. Um, that specific lightsaber crystal, um, they, they'll alter or increase the bonus, um, the benefits that each saber or like each uh, lightsaber crystal provides. So I don't really know. I think this worked pretty well. Um, my damage was 16 to 40 with plus 33 to my attack rating, so I was pretty happy with that. Uh, I think I hit like a truck melee-wise, and I was pretty strong. Um, offensively with my spells. So let's go to that next. Uh, so spells, I only chose Cure. I could have gone higher in the healing tree, but nah, I, just, I didn't. Uh, I used Master Speed. That was my go-to, just because it does increase your defense by four. And you get an additional two attacks per round, which is great. So right now, you know, we... Uh, have three attacks per round if you're only doing in like an auto attack but then if you pair that with master flurry which we were doing a lot um, that'll just give you I think in total four extra attacks that you could potentially land on an enemy in addition to beefing up your defense so this I feel like is is it's a go-to you can't ever neglect having any kind of master speed on a, any kind of build uh, force resistance I only put that on at the very end I don't know Mm, it, it's pretty helpful um, against the final boss, so keep that in mind. It's definitely helpful. I should have had the next uh, the next improvement to it, which I believe is like force immunity. 
uh, that's that's awesome. I think I, I should definitely get that next time. I went with Effect Mind. This is so you can do Force Persuasions. I don't really think um, that was worth it at all, to be honest. I did it just for so I could have fun when I was playing through. Um, I chose Plague because... There you go, I'll just read it to you. It causes a target to suffer as though deathly ill from poison, so they're going to lose 12 points from each of their physical attributes, one point every second over 12 seconds. And then the target is also going to be slowed for the duration, um, as well as it has a DC of 100, making it impossible to save against its effects. Uh, the only thing, it doesn't affect droids. So... This is going to really almost immobilize an enemy, but it's also going to make their resistances a lot lower um, just because we're decreasing all their attributes. Uh, so this is, I love this one. And then I was also using Insanity. This is my crowd control ability. Um, this I would use, like I said, just to CC an enemy and then attack them either with Master Speed on in Flurry or just doing Flurry by itself and my character would gain a bonus damage when the enemy was crowd controlled or wasn't focusing on me. Uh, drain life, this is a good one too. Um, I guess because I did have higher wisdom and a decent amount of charisma, this ability would do a decent amount of damage and it would heal me for a decent amount. Um, I might wanna invest more points in this when I do my actual playthrough, but. And then for these two, force suppression and force breach, um, these two were, I kept these in mind, and these look like my last two force abilities. I was using these just in mind of the final battle, just because I wanted to take off, like, let me see if I can show you. There you go. So at the bottom, force breach will um, disable, as you can see, force resistance and force immunity. These powers are immediately shut down, but then the target... Uh, can reactivate them if they have enough force points. So the final boss always puts on force immunity, which makes it harder for some of your, uh, you know, any of your force attacks to land. So I definitely wanted to take that off so I could attack him with the force. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's kind of situational. If you're attacking another Jedi, cool. Or another force user, cool. But other than, other than that, I really just picked these up just for the final boss. But in terms of the feats, um, I ended up picking up Flurry, like I said, and I maxed that out. Flurry is probably one of the best um, physical attacks you can have, just because it gives you, um, it does give you a hit to your defense, but it allows you to make an extra melee attack during the round. Um, so now you could have two. Um, two melee attacks that are potentially going to land despite having the minus one to your defense so i don't know it's it's a good trade-off i always use this especially when it's maxed out only suffering minus one to defense it's not really a negative hit to gain two attacks uh we came with that here you go here's sneak attack that i was trying to explain uh we have sneak attack seven or four excuse me for being a level seven scoundrel It'll add four to 24 extra uh, points of extra damage when the target can't respond to the attacker. So this is just the passive I was referring to. I did purchase toughness. Uh, I maxed it all the way out. This character gains an additional plus one vitality point at each level, retroactive for levels previously gained. This is in addition to the plus one vitality point per level granted by toughness and the two point physical damage resistance granted by improved toughness. So. Just gives our our character a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more health, and just makes us a little bit more beefy. So at least we can take a hit. Uh, force focus this is what you get for being a consular. Um, it just adds plus four to um, the difficulty class for when you're trying to use a spell. Um, yeah, again, when you're trying to use the spell against another al an enemy, excuse me, uh, and then. Since I am a scoundrel, I got the passives for level six scoundrel, improved scoundrel's luck. I just got a bonus plus four to my defense. That's a passive that's always on. And because I'm a level 12 Jedi, I got plus six defense, which is always on um, because of master sense. So two good passives for defense. Um, and like I said, um, I did a single handed saber. So I did master dueling just to get plus three to my attack and plus three to my defense. 
Um, and that's it. Uh, for skills, I really just focused on stealth, persuade, repair, and security. Um, uh, stealth, because I was a smuggler. Um, you don't really have to put any points into this. I didn't really find it that useful, to be completely honest. Uh, persuade, yeah, I think this is definitely important if you're going to do or try to be a persuasive character. Um, repair, I think I only needed that to get to 14. I just did this um, just for the storyline, which I don't want to spoil anything. And then security, I use this all the time, so I think this was totally valuable. I would just think about putting points you know, away from stealth and putting them into treat injury, just in case I need to use a med pack. Uh, that's definitely, at least in my opinion, a lot more... Uh, a lot more valuable but all right friends so that has just been like my build craft like build crafting build theory crafting something like that just some of my thoughts about what the build i just did for my playthrough and now how i'm going to try to make this type of build with some tweaks uh, in our actual kotor playthrough so i will just see you in the walkthrough friends all right take care bye bye